Good day! In this video, we are going to try to solve question 1A of the 2022 NCA Level 3 Statistics Paper Probability Distribution. Without further ado, let's read the question. It has been estimated that for a New Zealand clothing retail company, a purchase is made by 35% of customers entering the stores. Using an appropriate probability distribution, Calculate the estimate for the probability that less than 3 of the next 10 shoppers make a purchase after entering the store. Okay, without further ado, let's try to solve this. It is a binomial because you have a fixed number of trials, there are a total of 10 shoppers, and then you have uh, calculate the probability of X, which is 3, and you have the probability of success, which is 0.35. Once we know it's a binomial, we are going to use the graphic calculator and try to solve this. So number of trial, which is n, is going to be 10. Okay, so this 10. Probability of success is 0 0.35, so we put 0 0.35 or 35%. And the probability that is less than 3, that's what they asked you, probability of less than 3 is actually equal to probability of 0, 1, and 2. So we need to do a BCD in our calculator when x equals to 2. This, BCD means the cumulative from 0 to 2. So we're going to put x equal to 2. So we do that. We go to statistics in the calculator, execute it. And then now we go to distribution, which is F5. And then we are going to do binomial. Then we know that it's binomial. So we're going to do again another F5. And now remember, we are going to do a cumulative from 0 to 2. So it could be BCD. So it's going to be F2 now. And now we are going to key in the data. Again, I remember, remind you, you need to put the number in variable. So F2. And now X, if you know X is going to be 2 because it's going to be 0 to 2, accumulative from 0 to 2. So we're going to stop at 2. Number of trial is N, which is 10. So we're going to put X, sorry, execute. And number of trial is going to be 10, executed. P is the number of success, 0 0.35, executed. And now you get to press the execute button and the answer is going to be probability of less than 5 the answer is going to be 0 0.2616 so you can get that there's a merit in this paper and we shall proceed to part 2 of the question we do not need the calculator for the moment so we're going to uh, delete them okay so we need to sorry we need to just go out of it okay and then we are going to do part 2 so we're going to read this out and then we're going to do part 2 of the equation. Okay, part 2 doesn't need a calculator. So we are just going to read the question again. Give two assumptions for making the probability distribution model that you have used in part 1 to model the number of customers making a purchase when entering the store. We know that there are four possible assumptions. You need only two. First, there are fixed number of trials. There are 10 trials in total. So that is a good start. Second thing, there is a constant probability of success. For each customer entering the store, the probability of purchasing is the same. That is, probability of success is always going to be 0 0.35. Third thing, each trial is independent of each other. It means that a customer choice to purchase something is not affected by the behavior of the other customer. So they are independent events. And last but not least, there is a success as failure. Success means you purchase something and not a failure means they're not purchasing something. You only need two assumptions. If you can get two of that, that will give you a merit. Okay, great. Now we shall proceed to question part three. Part three is, is the same as part one, but a slightly different. Okay, we shall read the question now. Okay, the clothing retail company has many stores throughout New Zealand. Using an appropriate probability distribution model, Calculate the estimate for probability for at least three of the next 10 customers make a purchase in the four different stores. So again, the same three out of 10. This time is at least three. So the probability is between three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So probability, well, we need to find x equals to three, x equals to four, all the way to probability of x equals to 10. So to calculate that probability, x greater than 3, n is the same, still 10 up, and then probability of success is 0 0.35 based on the previous example. This time we can calculate probability of x equal to more, greater, or equal to 3. So it's going to be 1 minus probability of 0 plus probability of 1 and probability of 2. Because you are looking for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 1 minus 0, 1, 2, 
will give you the probability of x greater than 3. So we know from the first example, part 1, go back to the part 1 of the video, the probability of less than 3 is going to be 0 0.2616. So 1 minus 0 0.2616 is going to be 0 0.7384. Because for each store, the probability is 0 0.7384. For the four store, we need to take 0 0.7384, multiply them four times, or to the power of four, and the answer is 0 0.2973, and that is an excellent. Great. Now we shall look at the last question, the assumption. We're going to re repeat what we have done before. So the question asks you, an assumption was made when calculating the probability in part 3. Justify the assumption in context. So we're going to talk about two of them. We talk about independence and the probability is constant throughout. So an influence for independent, an influence of buying behavior in one store is not likely to impact the buying behavior in another store as all stores are part of the same clothing retail company. So that is an assumption we made for independent. So technically, so the second assumption we made is that the probability is constant throughout. So for each customer entering the store, the probability of purchasing is always the same that is probability equal to 0 0.35. And you can give me two of these examples, you will get excellence in this paper. So have a go at it again, and I'm sure you are able to do this question, which is the probability distribution function paper. So have a good day everyone, and I'll see you in the next video, which is part B of question 1B. Cheers and see you.